All right. Uh, thank you for staying with us. And uh, the conversation is about the local government election slated for tomorrow, October 5th, 2024. And there has been this forth and back about it and around it, especially, you know, uh, political, uh, politically exposed persons and parties as well. You know, try to bear their minds, um, you know, different um, interests on this matter. You know, that is the place of uh, the uh, voters register, uh, you know, that um, he said that um, RCEC, that is River State uh, Independent Electoral Commission, doesn't have it yet. And um, INEC are saying there is a subsisting court order that is bearing them from releasing the INEC voters register as of earlier in the week, by the way, um, uh, from releasing it to RCEC on the matter. And if there is no voter register, how will an election happen? But well, they are saying there is a court order to that effect as well. And of course, uh, there is the part that maybe the APC will not be part of the local government election. Later, was it yesterday or today, they said, okay, we are ready and good to go. That's the part of the PDP. Now, many persons are saying, is he a matter of the PDP fighting against itself? Maybe the PDP, contextually speaking, home and PDP away, <laughs> abroad, having issues because some, um, you know, some contestants will learn to have um, uh, pitched their tent with the APP, you know, to say this is the party which you are going uh, to be contesting with in as much the inner caucus of the PDP in River State, you know, they are not supporting those contestants, especially the ones that are loyal to Governor Wiki. We are being joined virtually this morning by one of the governor's aides, on new media, Honorable Bernard Odike, uh, you know, he joins us um, virtually this morning. Good morning, sir. Thank you for joining us. Good morning. Yes, uh, the local government election is slated for tomorrow, and there are issues and issues around it. As of today, what do you know? Well, um, as an, at about one p.m. today. Uh, there were some moves by uh, men of the Nigerian police from a neighboring state who were acting uh, by, according to them, instructions of the Inspector General of Police. Um, the team was led by DC. Operation, I think, at the time, the Deputy Commissioner of Police operations, and then um, the officials of INEC were allowed there to do well. Finally, I think the governor was also allowed who mobilized with other uh, National Assembly members from River State, as some of the state House Assembly members and other stakeholders, and they mobilized to that place to you know, ensure that um, there was no such a, uh, but it was already happening from all that happened. They tried um, breaking in and then sending away security men that were detailed their area of to provide security or with an intent to cut away materials, sensitive materials and also try to prevent in the operations of the United States Independent Electoral Commission, but for the quick intervention of the governor and others, I think that attempt was foreign. Now, going back to the earlier preamble you gave, um, you already know or must have heard that uh, there was a court ruling from the United High Court. That the other independent independent electoral commission to go ahead with the election using the 2023 the latest updated and put that register uh, of the independent national electoral commission in the because the electoral body to carry out the electoral the process. Uh, the following day, you also heard that there was. A federal high court judgment, you know, ordering that INEC should not release mm. the voters register to River State Independent Electoral Commission. Yes. You must have also heard 
from the University Independent Electoral Commission uh, chairman, retired Justice Edelberg, who says that they applied earlier on for the voters to register, which INEC had released to them, and that the election is going on. So whatever uh, judgment or whatever ruling that came from Federal High Court is likened to medicine after death. So the election is going on tomorrow as scheduled and planned. Mm, all, all right. Um, interesting one there because that uh, pre pre previous court ruling that was um, given on September 30, that was on Monday, you know, uh, by George, the George Peter Lefo. You know, he also barred the Inspector General of Police and the State Security SSS from providing security for the controversial elections, you know, uh, because the suit was filed by the All Progressive Congress, which challenged the legitimacy of the election. And they were represented by Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Joseph Daudu, Sebastian Hahn, and Ogwo Noja. And they argued that the necessary legal procedures leading up to the election had not been observed. And these are some of the issues. But you said there is the latest development that there is a deployment of the Nigerian police led by senior officers to provide security, you know, um, at the INEC headquarters in, um, you know, Port Harcourt in River State. So are you saying, as it stands today, that election we hold tomorrow? I say that earlier on, security uh, 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 operatives were deployed to protect and uh, provide security. But as at 1 a.m. today, yeah. Friday, 4th of uh, October, mm. 2024, um, there was an alarm to the River State Governor and um, others that uh, a detachment of um, security personnel from the Nigerian police mm. led by a DC operation, you know, um, by the instructions of the Inspector General of Police mm. to come and, um, you know, ask <laughs> all right uh, we might have to reconnect uh, we can't actually you know um hear him but he trust you you know uh because this is about the rule of law mm. and justice and the sanctity of the court and everything that comes from our court because on monday a court uh you know um said you know the election uh, should not go on because INEC should not release the voters register to RCEC. That was a federal high court in Abuja, you know, that stopped that particular process from happening. And the security agencies, Nigeria Police, as I says, should not even provide security. And when there is no security, nothing can go on. Yeah. But it seems honorable is telling us there is a new development. Yeah, uh, 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 whatever the new development is, because it's all in the news that uh, the River State Police Command has clarified its position on the upcoming election, that uh, it will not be yeah. providing its men for the slated River State uh, local government election. Honorable RDK, are you with us now? Hello. Hello, we can hear you. Can you hear us? Yeah, I can hear you now. Oh. All right. Can you uh, complete your thoughts uh, before we ask you the next question? Yeah, I, as I was saying, I say that um, security operatives uh, earlier on, you know, provided to uh, give uh, security cover for the operations at the River State Independent Electoral Commission. But as of one day and this morning, yeah. A team of policemen led by this the operation, by the instruction, according to them, by the instructions of um, the Inspector General of Police. And I can tell you that this department of uh, police operatives, we are, they came in from the neighboring state to carry, you know, to carry out I, I, what I would call a clandestine um, operation. Part of the instruction was to uh, 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 withdraw. The security operatives we on ground providing security for the uh, Liberty Independent Electoral Commission, mm -hmm. and then to now they also the report also has it that they attempted to go in and cut away 
sensitive material that were already in place at the Liberty Independent Electoral Commission, if not for the early intervention of the governor and others that went to Spain. So that is the latest situation. We have also seen a report, um, a statement from the River State Police Command uh, saying that they have withdrawn from um, the operations of the election, you know, and so on and so forth. But uh, the River State Independent Electoral Commission is open of going on with the election because even the court order that was given never stopped election. Rather, in the instruction, that, that, uh, what is the, the direction was that uh, INEC should not reveal voters register to mm. recheck. Mm. Like as a state area, the chairman of the River State Independent Electoral Commission, retired Justice NMLD, has stated that with foresight that they had applied for the uh, Register and that INEC had advised the River State Independent Electoral Commission with the latest version of that voter's register, which is the 2023 update. Mm. So the election is going on tomorrow as scheduled. Okay. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, but leave the security operatives are withdrawing their mm. services, mm. those on ground, you know. Uh, but you said others came in from a neighboring state led by a particular senior officer, you know, to uh, um, just um, influence whoever or whatever is going on there to say this will not happen. And the River State Police Commander saying we are standing down on the matter. And you said INEC, you know, and their leadership, um, yeah, in um, River State are upbeat about going ahead with the election. How can yes. an election happen? When there is no security protection, no cover, the operatives are withdrawing their service. Wouldn't that amount to anarchy, really? Because that would be a free for all. Well, uh, the, you and I know that by the law, the police and other security agencies are mandated to do their job. But they are withdrawn. Security. They are withdrawn in this particular well, case. See, police cannot withdraw. Police cannot withdraw in services from. Uh, from carrying out the constitutional responsibility of providing their security. But be it as it may, whatever, whether they withdraw or not, mm. the election will go on. Interesting. Okay, uh, Honorable DK, I mean, it's something that should uh, be concerning, worrisome at mm. this point. The governor, who is the number one person in the state, um, Governor Simla Laifibara, swore to protect its people, to protect the property in the state. Now, with this election going on, without cover from security forces, don't you think uh, the governor is exposing his people to danger? Especially um, when other political parties, um, major parties like uh, the PDP in which the governor is in, uh, and also the APC are against this election. No, no, APC, APC in River State is participating in the election. Uh, do not mind the, the uh, impostor, Tony Okocha, who the, who the court has said that he is not the chairman of River State APC. But the Eka BK is the authentic the chairman of APC in River State. And I can tell you that APC in River State is feeding candidates for this election. But there was a so, protest by uh, the PDP and the APC. No, no, no. What you saw, what you saw was the, um, the case of people uh, hiring people to, you know, with predetermined uh, uh, intent, mm. you know, to disrupt the election. Mm. Part of what they did yesterday was to provoke the majority of people's people to to create crises that would have that would have led to, you know, what they plotted to do. To maybe declare state of emergency in first state and declare and uh, impose curfew, which would have hindered the holding of that election tomorrow. But the river people are very much sensitive and aware of all the all the antics. They allowed them to do their protest. How did they end up their protest? That they have gone to the they went to the police, the police command, that they have gone to uh, uh, register their protest mm. and then ask their people to go back home. And peacefully they went back home. And you know the election, as I say, will be taking place tomorrow. 
All right. Um, you, you have not yeah. you have not reacted to what I asked you. Isn't does this not mean that the governor really doesn't? Um, no, uh, no. See, see, let me say something. Uh, security is the business of all of us. Now, if I am with you, I I decide not to do anything against you, and you decide not to do anything against me. Do we need any police person to come and uh, uh, maintain peace and order or whatever between both of us? But it doesn't work that way. This is election. Mm -hmm. The stakes are no, high. I'm, 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 it no, has no, never I'm, been I'm, done in the history of the nation that an election will be done and there security. will not be security cover. No, no, there will be security cover. By who? From who? There will be security cover. As you know, River State is a federated, one of the federating units of Nigeria. And um, in Anambra, it happened. The election took place and it successfully took. So it will not be different here in River State. Are Although you going to hire private um, security agencies River to State, do that? River State already has, River State, River State already has what we call a neighborhood watch. Okay, we already have, River State already has uh, that body. So, um, there are alternatives. Honorable, uh, Labour would watch to provide cover. Do they have the strength? In all do the they even have the constitutional it, uh, no, no, responsibility? Yeah, they, do, they do, they do, they do. To so cover an election. Uh, for instance, in my, for instance, in my NGA recently, oh. you know, some young men through the um, collaboration uh, between the police, the security, the police, and the community. That, talking about the traditional um, institution, the, the CDC, and the youth body, you know, came up with um, an arrangement for security. Mm -hmm. We are about um, 20, 20 persons per community. We are nominated. And they have been profiled by the security agency and all the rest. Across River State, the arrangement for all those kind of uh, community policing is already in place. Uh, Honorable, doesn't this, you know, easily just suggest this is desperation on the act on the part of uh, the River, River State government and, you know, his contestant? Because some will believe this is just a fight for the soul of the control of the political structure. And mm -hmm. that is why you just want this to go at all means. No, 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 no. no Does no, it no, really no. worth it? No, 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 no. Let's get it right. Please. Recently, um, there was a Supreme Court judgment, mm. you know, in um, trying to kind of uh, to stop what used to be, where the uh, state appointed Kiatika and all the rest. The court was was very explicit on the matter oh. that. Um, Every state should have democratically elected local government personnel in play. Mm. And then after that, there was an arrangement outside that court judgment that 90, a, a window of 90 days is given for every state to comply and make that happen. And River State is obeying that instruction, that situation. Now, this is, the issue is the person or the group of people who are going to court to stop the election. What do they want? Don't they want a democratically elected personnel in place for River State? Mm. But there is a room for every voice to be heard. Now you have dissenting voices from the PDP, a party which, which the PDP, governor PDP, belongs which, to. Which PDP? No, which PDP? There is which only PDP? one PDP. No, 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 no. Which PDP? Is the governor not uh, the leader of PDP in River State? Of course, so it's like a house uh, waging war against itself. That's what we're saying. We're talking about the insurpass, interlopers, people who are meddling in order to look honestly, let, let me prepare. This is wicked interest. Against, against the state. Should a man be bigger than the state? Honorable DK. We can bond that River State because it's River State is special state. For goodness sake, from 1999, Peter Dilly State. After Peter Dilly ATA, when we had to be here for about five months or thereabout, before Amechi came up, Amechi has seen it and has gone. Amechi troubled him, we can get him. Yes, Amechi tried to trouble him along the line, but never prevailed because the River State people stood with him.
Why would we care what to burn that river today? today? That's the issue. People should say truth. We just should stop. And now that you don't want him using your word to burn down the state, you want to go ahead with the election because yes, he cannot it. burn down the state. Yes, uh, that... people. <clears throat> no, no, he cannot. Look, look, look. Yes, Let's yes. We, we are saying the same Let's thing. Honorable. I'm coming. I'm coming. Let's not miss it. Yeah. Like I would maintain over 98 percent of the river's population are with the governor, and that's the nature of the river's power. All right. We will not go against the governor. We will stand with the governor against anybody. All right. To make sure that river stays, remains river stays. After Fumara, after Fumara in office, another person will come. And river people will stand with the person. This is our state. All right. So what I'm saying is this: that you have stated your mind that you know the Supreme Court has said election was oh no more caretaker, and then you yeah. are ready. Your government is ready. But then there are issues around this. Now the issue of no security. Issues, no issues. Hold on, no horrible. Issues. The issue of security is the one that nobody should play with. Now, if something untoward happened, you know, will it be okay? Will it be justifiable that your government, the governor, because it wants to satisfy the constitutional provision of having elected um, chairmen and councillors in River State, now open up the good people of river state that you said are behind him 98 percent of them to to you know unforeseen danger just because you want the election to go on well life life in itself is full of risks we even you going to work this morning you took risk by leaving your house and coming out mm. even in developed countries where the security system is very much 100 percent like very good so it's 100 percent things happen but we pray that nothing happens. Well, that's the truth. Mm -hmm. Because we, we know that all over the world, people plan evil. But we won't because people plan evil, we no longer step up to go and uh, do what we ought to do. So mm -hmm. we will go, the election will go on, and we will try to ensure that nobody disrupts it, that nobody succeeds in getting another evil. Plan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Be before um, evening comes in, as we're trying to round off now. Um, you know, talking about, uh, because that's the word on the street, and we are the mirror of this, the society, by the way, and that's why we have you here to clarify. One, we say the structure of the party, the structure of the politics in River State, which you said is really at stake right now, because there's one individual who was the leader before, who still wants to be relevant right now. You mentioned uh, Minister Weekend this matter to say, is that the reason why we have it, that contestants, that are loyal to Governor um, Sims Fuba right now have gone to the APP to seek um, you know, office in this particular election. Why would they go there? And doesn't it mean that go um, Governor Sims Fubara, your principal, has lost the structure of the party? Um, um, baby. Yes. Uh, let me say this. You know, uh, a, a case of. Uh... Just like well, we want to also put Wiki on the spot. Wiki wants to hold the BDP and hold the state mm. the way he wishes. Mm. But things don't work that way. When he was governor, he was in charge. You know, he was in charge. Even when he would come and shout of a federal, um, you know, a federal, uh, um, uh, how do I put it? Federal um, incursion into the state and so on, calling and making out and all the rest. All that happened. And one would have expected that we can, who ordinarily cried out there, mm. would not want to repeat history, you know, on the negative side. But it's, it's, so, it's so interesting that even when he felt that the, the, the organs of PDP, we are making moves to ensure that the structure of the PDP mm. is going to become as a transition. He went to court. He went to court to, 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 to stop for Akara. I will call it Akara. Akara judgment. Yeah, stopping that uh, nobody should suffer with whatever. You know, things don't work that way. It, it, the law is made to be fair. The law is blind. The law does not, um, have, a, does not have to operate sentimentally. The, the law has to be fair. And the way it ought to be. You know, so but wicked is interfering with the law. He has tried to like give the law eyes. 
so that the law should not be fundamental. So what are you so saying you exactly? Whatever you want, yeah. And again, what would be? It, it doesn't work like that. BDP in River City is led by the government. What you're seeing is just, you know, uh, we can take using all sort of tricks and then... Honorable, image. if if Governor Sin Fubara has the structure of the party and he's the leader, why is he loyally seeking for office in the APP? No, 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 no. The word, the word is a free word. The word is a free word. For example, election he's in charge, but his loyalists cannot I'm, contest I'm, no, in the no, same I'm party coming, that is I'm leading. Coming. I'm coming. Governor Fubara is in charge of River State. Okay. Yeah, PDP is a very good through which he wrote to he wrote up to power. Okay. Now, interferences by Wiki is not allowing things to run smooth, especially now in the case of PDP in River State. Mm. And the uh, electoral body has fixed a date for the election, and this election a date is sacrosanct and it must hold. Now, those who have uh, interest to buy for positions. Knowing to where that from the way things are going, like you already know, that by virtue of the um, weekends or whatever, that PDP is as good as not contesting this election. So people who have interest have to make moves. Not only APP that is contesting the election, 18 out of 19 registered political parties are participating in this election. Mm. So that's what we have. So, are you saying that um, Governor Sim Fubara has lost the grip on, uh, uh, you know, on the People's no, Democratic no, no, Party no, no, in River no, State? No, 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 no. It, 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 there are matters which are subject to legal whatever. They are still going on. Nobody has said that the governor, the governor, the PDP, he has not lost any control. What we have is a kind of just trying to maintain law and order. That's all. Until, 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 until that process runs through and then comes to a conclusion where it is made clear that the governor is no longer in control of PDP or cannot be in control of PDP in River State, then um, we will not move on from there. We will know the direction to go. But for now, we can't say that he has lost control of PDP. He has not. That's what we have is interference or due interference. Mm. So in trying to maintain law and order, is there going to be some form of negotiations, uh, you know, between the governor and uh, the dissenting voices in the People's Democratic Party. I didn't get that. Come back with the question. I said, in trying to maintain law and order, would there be any form of negotiation, uh, you know, between the governor and the dissenting voices in the People's Democratic Party? Well, um, you, as you already know, at the national level, moves have been made to ensure that the party is uh, put in shape the way it ought to be, especially in River State. But you have a case of what that is going on. Uh, a man called Wiki, you know, working with some a few other persons, went to court to put a kind of weight to the, uh, the smooth, you know, um, process of that coming through. Mm. So, but let we are waiting the process until that process runs through. All right. So that's it. Honorable oh. DK, so when two elephants fight, uh, it is the grass beneath two them. Two elephants are not fighting in this case. That soft. There, there, there are no two elephants in this case. Okay. You don't consider um, Minister Yesam Wike and uh, Governor Sim as the Wike elephants has lost, fighting. Wike has lost feet. Wike is the people. As now he... you can see how desperate. No, 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 no. All is, you can see all the things. Like yesterday when they did their protest as a child, that this is now the proverbial foreign of sand during fight. They have, they have not been. Even that uh, judgment by Lifu also opened up that Wiki has lost it. He has lost it. There was no need for that. There was no need for all that. Interesting one if there. We think that, if we can think that it is who we think it is, yeah. we can should leave PDP and go to wherever and uh, pursue his uh, political level, uh, whatever. If we can contest, if we can, what, is, what does Wiki want? Does Wiki want to become one again for the third time? Or does he want to take structure to contest against uh, Tinubu in 2027? What does we get in the world? All right. What does he want? Yeah. He has done two times as a governor. What is he looking for? All right. He has made so much money to himself. Uh, uh, honorable. What does he want? Yeah. He, um, Minister Wike was in um, River State uh, recently. 
and um, you know it, it was conferred a uh, chieftaincy title by you know the job people and he spoke at that place he spoke very lengthy and he said he's going to teach your principal uh, you know, who is the boss and how politics is done that was that, that was that as well Kali Hodan Kali Hodan and um, you know on Sunday at the Thanksgiving service for the independence as well your principal talked very tough and he talked about what he's doing that he's working very seriously on the general hospital and in that general hospital he said uh, you know that um, he has a Socratic word there in which his political opponents will be needing very soon and you know rivers people are wondering how come this state has now gone to the level the only time it appears that the only time you get to hear about rivers is about turmoil and turmoil and talks and accusations and counter accusation is this what your state has been reduced to yeah um, it's unfortunate it's unfortunate that uh, this is happening when we was also governor and we did the same thing to him you know but rivers people said no this state belongs to all of us we stood by Wiki as the governor of River State. And today, Wiki is repeating the same thing Amity did. And Rivers people are saying the same thing. They will stand with the governor for the sake of the state. Wiki, his threats of um, showing anybody lesson is not new. Amity also made the same post. Wiki, is, Wiki has lost this battle. Not, there are no two ways about it. Wiki even told us that time during the election that. Even though they use tissue paper, if they use tissue paper, if they don't bring the results in, they use tissue paper to, re to record the results, that we should ensure that that tissue paper is taken to the collection center and that whatever that was written on it is transferred to the collection, uh, where what the results sheet at the collection level. With that, is reverse really paper stands by that um, same um, direction. Mm. We can cannot alter the way of the life of the people of River State. That's the truth. Two elephants are not fighting in River State. All we have is just uh, somebody who is meddling and trying to create issues. I but we have you, two elephants exchanging be... words. We have two elephants then, exchanging words. No, not two elephants. The only elephant here, who is even not just elephant, but with the heart of lion, is the governor. Because the people are with him. Wiki is just a run, Wiki is just like uh, when the Bible talks about a roaring lion that is toothless, fangless. That's who he is. But he if, actually, not... if actually he's toothless and fangless, you know, his influence and his full soldiers have been meddling with, uh, you know, the authority of your, no, of no, your principal no, no. at the party level to the extent that, you know, <laughs> the people that are loyal to him couldn't find tickets within the party. He had to go to the like... APP. And you keep disregarding um, uh, former Governor Wiki as he's just a rowdy lion, but the grip no, uh, of your governor is appears is losing it. No, he can't no. command the authority. No, 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 no. The governor is in control. That's why you're seeing the clandestine moves by Wiki. By Wiki is playing the role of a spoiler, and then uh, he cannot spoil nothing. Election will take place tomorrow. The governor is in control, and the rivers people are with him. That's the truth. But the State House of, yeah, the the of Assembly as well has said that election should not hold. The what? The State House of Assembly. Martin Amawule. The Martin Amawule no, led State of Assembly. Look, 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 are we playing? But Martin Amawule and 20-something um, others are hmm. no longer lawmakers now. But they are still sitting. They, they, are, no, still, they are sitting where now. They are, they are, they are still are. drawing salaries, isn't it? They are yeah. not drawing any salary anywhere. So your boss has not been paying them? They are not drawing salary anywhere. It initially, from the truth read by the president, the governor decided to, come, uh, to allow peace to reign and he did that. But when they began to bite more than they can chew, mm. the governor called it a hoax. And I, I can tell you nothing. They are not. They are not. They are not. They are not. The, so, only, the only House of Assembly recognized the, is the Assembly led by Victor Okujobu. The three manners of assembly? Whatever you call it. Okay, all right. And um, I'll just hang in there. Uh, we'll just have, um, you know, few um, those clips of um, former Governor Wiki and then your principal, uh, Sassin Fubara. Just hang in there.
it is Fumara that has awarded Transcalabari Road that they couldn't do. They did only a bridge from Krakrama. I am the one doing it. 225 billion. I didn't borrow. It is this Sam Fumara that is building a general hospital, which I also included a psychiatric hospital because they will need it very soon in their place. So tell them what I have done in one year is what they did. Like I said, let them make me talk. Let them make me talk. It's only empty container that makes noise. Let them make me talk. Let them make me talk. It's only empty container that makes noise. If God has given you opportunity, it's your thing and keep quiet. All right, uh, interesting one there. And if actually we can have uh, the former governor very quickly, the clip of the former governor weekend. All right, I will do that when we are ready for that. But, um, Honorable Adiki, are you still there? Yeah, I'm here. You know, um, um, your principal, uh, Sassin Fubara, you know, initially maybe robbed of many persons as this quiet gentleman who wouldn't talk, who would just do his job. But of recent, people are thinking, oh, does this man have, um, you know, uh, this kind of mien that is now coming out of him? And uh, maybe the gentle, quiet looking Fubara was all a facade. Now the real Fubara is coming out. Well, uh, Governor Fubara, as you know, as you say, is a gentleman, a peace loving person. Is it when you push a man and push him to the wall? What do you expect him to do? Now, what you see, what you see, even as he talks. It is not, he does not have intent for violence. All he's doing is, you know, he, he's like bringing out, you know, he, I think I have to work with him, he's carrying the authority of the state. In fact, some people who initially started supporting him, we are beginning to be disappointed that he was maintaining that peaceful, you know, man. The way he's talking now is like, why would he talk the way he's talking? Why would he talk? Like a case of, um, um, let's say, um, a thousand of uh, a thousand of um, sheep led by a lion, and then um, let's say um, a thousand of um, lion led by a sheep. That comparison, the thousand sheep is led by a lion going to a battle. With a thousand, a thousand um, lions led by a sheep. Definitely, the, a thousand sheep led by a lion will always be big. So, Governor Fubara is a peaceful man. What he's showing, he's showing the trait of that lion, not a violent lion, but a gentle lion. All right. Leading a thousand sheep to battle. All and right. you know that his position of the sheep is the yeah. position of a peace. So All right. That is what you're seeing. Very quickly, you know, it's quite um, interesting for you to categorize any lion as being a gentle one. Mm. You know, lions are known to be fierce. But then, um, just around that time as well, former Governor Wike spoke when he was conferred with a chieftaincy title by the Jaw people. Okay. Please hang in there. I'm moving on. Police right now, I'm here. 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 I'm here.
All right, um, yeah, uh, we couldn't take that particular video. But as it stands right now, you know, um, in all of these, the part or soul and everything, you have said election will go ahead even when the security agencies appeared, uh, you know, to be standing down at this time. And uh, by this time tomorrow, let me just ask you, Honorable Odike, because your principal, just like Evelyn said, swore to uphold the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and protect the good people of River State. There, you said they are behind him. If, per adventure, because you said at that time, when I asked you, is it worth it to put the people's lives at risk just because you want, you know, to uphold uh, a particular stance of the Constitution about the local government election and autonomy? If something, you talked about risk and you said life is even a risk, but if something untowards happened, Will your principal and the entire cabinet of River State be responsible for whatever happens? Just if. Uh, Mr. Finn. Yes. Um, as I speak to you now, where I am, there is no security agency agent here. Are, are you hearing me? Yes, I am. If somebody is crazy to this compound now and does anything to me, what we just follow there to be investigation, which could be conclusive or inconclusive, as the case may be, as we've had over the period. We've seen things happen, the crimes happen. Now, does it then mean that the authority had really failed? Like I will always tell people, crime doesn't pay. Like I use an example when I was talking to Evelyn, I say if two of us decide to stay in a play, I choose not to do anything bad to her and she chooses not to do anything bad to me. Mm. Do, will we have any problem? We have no problem. Tomorrow, the majority of people's people who have decided and in agreement with their government will do power to cut their votes for their choice candidate. So if for any reason, anybody or anyone from anywhere decides to do anything on tour, well, we pray that such a person be apprehended By and who? face the wrath of the law. Who will apprehend such a person? Because you know there are some interests that doesn't want this election no, 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 to no. happen. No, no, we are coming. What we are saying is that... Who will do the apprehension? Yeah. Every, somebody who can decide to come and commit a crime. Yeah already have sense to tell himself or herself to desist from carrying out that crime. There's no need for him. All right. Well, uh, this is where we would end the conversation. Like you have said, the elections would go on tomorrow, um, irrespective of the fact that the police have withdrawn. Uh, the INEX seem not to be in with this particular election and also some dissenting voices from the APC and also the PDP. You may so want to disagree I, with that, but... Is, is, it, is it INEC did what? INEC is not in with uh, RCEC on this, are they? INEC does not have any business with this election except to provide the voters register. Which has not been provided, but you said according no, no, to no, the no, RCEC no. chairman... It has been provided. It has been provided. Earlier, before anybody went to court. So if anybody feels that anything is wrong, let them continue in court and not mm. come and do anything on top of it. All right, special assistant on new media to the River State Governor, Governor Sim Fubara. Honorable Bernard Odike, thank you so much for your time this morning. We appreciate you. you for coming on board and having this conversation with us. Thank you for having me. And of course, we wish uh, the people of River State uh, well. Amen. All right, Femi, that's the conversation. I mean, wow. with um, what um, Honorable Odike said, he's saying that if I have no intention of doing bad to you, you have no intention of doing bad to me, then we won't live in peace. As um, truthful as that is, uh, you may want to consider, if, will the other party <laughs> really stay away from... If, if only that's how life plays. Exactly. It will have been fair. <laughs> but then our fingers are crossed and yeah. we do not want anything evil anything bad yeah. you know to happen in reverse state no violence tomorrow mm. but as it is we hope that uh, the 
security agencies will not just stand aloof, um, but also try as much as possible to work because that's why they have been paid. By the way, mm. elections or no election, they are to fight crime. Yeah, they have a and duty. We hope that they will actually put that to work tomorrow that's the end of the show for today and for this week thank you for being a part of our world uh, today we make a return on monday for a fresh start and of course uh, a new uh, conversations my name is evelyn ohiola have for yourself a fabulous weekend and please do well to follow us on all our social media platforms and you too have a recap of course a rich vein of programs especially morning spring on our YouTube channel at Western Spring TV on YouTube. Thank you for being a worthy partner. As they say, austerity will judge all of us. Whatever we do will be history very soon. So you have to pick the side where you belong. God bless Nigeria. Femi Ojo is my name. Have a fabulous week.